I'll drop a little dot of food coloring into an aquarium and and I'll drop a few more. And I'll look at it and I'll see what it looks like in the camera. And then, you know, I'll spend an hour emptying and filling the aquarium again and try something new. It's, it's all just, you know, it's all just kind of play once I get in the studio. I'm interested in presenting video in this more spatial way and transforming it from this singular experience to the screen to this more visceral and bodily experience. Originally, this project comes out of my uh, exploration uh, in trying to figure out what type of images can work on a dome. Things like food coloring and milk and pepper and glitter. These explorations that you wouldn't be able to tell that they were abstracted and that if they bent or warped in some way, they would just add to it. Well, we started the Moorhead Fellows Program so that our staff could get inspired and challenged to be as creative as possible with the programs that it develops and delivers to the general public. Specifically, working with David this year has challenged our production staff to um, think more creatively about how to cover the dome, how to create movement on the dome, and how to create a more immersive experience and feeling while uh, people are sitting in the planetarium. I guess the first thing I tried, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll make paint drip down the dome. I'll see what I can do uh, to make paint just come over the dome and come down and see what that looks like. And it worked okay, except in the sides, it got really distorted. So I switched to kind of thinking about stuff expanding from the top of the dome. And then, I don't know, this thing just kind of happened where I said, oh, I have to get the camera underneath it. And that's how the food coloring really came in. And then subsequently the aquarium and dripping things from above so that when you're in the dome, it comes and it surrounds you. Upon coming here for a position at UNC in the art department, I contacted the planetarium staff and asked about the possibilities of doing a project for the dome and it turned into this uh, Moorhead Fellowship. And it's just been fantastic. I stop by the production office two or three times a week and just touch base, ask a question, get some feedback. You know, it's, I mean, yeah, I made this piece, but you know, it's not just mine, not even close. I'm convinced that it was the right move for Moorhead to make to work with David. This is unlike anything anyone's ever seen on the Moorhead Dome before. It's beautiful. Sometimes it's very active and sometimes it's very calming. So I think it'll be a treat for everyone. It's been really fun. It's been a way for me to figure out how that dome works. And um, yeah, I have some other ideas. I mean, I, I don't know if I can talk about them yet. Yeah. I mean, I'd tell you about them, but yeah. I don't think they can be. You can't know. <laughs>